everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am financial planner Canna Campbell and this is Sugar Mama TV. Knowing this about minimalism will completely change your life. It will take you to new places, incredible places that you never knew existed and you will find yourself living a life filled with so much more meaning, value and authenticity. I personally promise. I know I haven't spoken about minimalism for a while now, but I want to let you know that it is still burning strong in my life and has been ever since I fell into minimalism, gosh, like 10 years ago. Now, I really want to talk about minimalism, but talk about the why behind minimalism. But for people who are new to minimalism and really trying to understand what it really is about, minimalism is essentially where we remove or reduce the distractions, the mess, the clutter, the temptation, anything that is toxic and not adding value to our lives. We remove it and create the space for more lightness, more joy, more direction in our life. Now, I fell into minimalism when I had really bad postnatal depression with Rocco. I felt like I was drowning. I was suffocated with so much stuff around me. My anxiety was just out of control. And I just felt like I was like hidden in darkness. I couldn't see the light. And I came across something by the minimalists. And I remember in that moment, sitting in my kitchen, looking at all the baby stuff around me, there wasn't a surface space that was clear. And that was my big light bulb moment. I started to put things away. I started to sell things. I started to donate things. I started to give things to friends, things that actually weren't adding any value. And with each thing that I released, I felt I could find myself again. I was peeling back the layers and learning more about who I was. And I really liked that feeling. And I really wanted to understand more about myself. So I leant into the curiosity and kept going. Now, after I had completely decluttered my kitchen and I could see my kitchen looking neat, tidy and organized, but I had space. I had space around the utensils. I had space around the kitchen gadgets and only what stayed in the kitchen were the things that I actually genuinely used. It felt liberating. I felt like this huge rush of energy, this amazing insight. And I decided to start embracing this and allow this journey to take me to other places. And from there, I went to my wardrobe, I went to my social life, my calendar, my responsibilities. I even allowed this to take me to money. And being a financial planner, that might sound contradictory. Why would you want less when it comes to money in your life? But in fact, it's added so much richness in my life where I almost feel like I need to make a separate video for you just about my journey with minimalism and money. So if you like the sound of that, let me know in the comment box below. When I went through this journey, it was incredible and it is something that I incorporated in my life and I try gently to encourage and educate and inspire my three children and of course Tom, because I really do think it's a life skill that really is important to know about and then you can choose if you want to apply it or choose it to apply it maybe in other areas of your life. Now, the one thing I would recommend for anyone that is doing minimalism and they want to make sure that they are not using minimalism as a quick fix, as a spring clean, but they are actually using this as a valuable tool within themselves to allow themselves to continue on with this very powerful journey where you discover so much about yourself, so much about what you really want and why. And you really open up your head, heart and mind for all the miracles, and mistakes and just amazingness that is actually around us all the time, but we're too busy being distracted and clouded and drowning in stuff. So what I recommend, if you are on a path of minimalism or if you're curious about minimalism, sit down and think about what it does minimalism mean to you? What is your why? How is it gonna add value? How is it gonna benefit you? Now for me, when I do this, there are so many benefits. I could literally make an hour long video for you, which I won't do. But for me, what it gives me is a sense of calm. I'm someone who is constantly juggling lots of different things in my head. I have ADHD, I get overloaded with different ideas and write multiple things that I have to do and tasks and lists. So for me, minimalism allows me to calm my brain. It allows me to press pause and stop and see what is actually a priority. And then from that, 
Minimalism then gives me clarity. Clarity so that I understand, all right, I need to do this. And then once I've done this, I need to do that. And then because of that, I'm able to get through my day with a sense of efficiency and progress. It also helps me feel and actually be really organized. For me, again, the ADHD can be a problem in my life. If I'm feeling disorganized, which can very easily happen, having minimalism and incorporating minimalism into my life really reduces that risk. You see, it's less likely for me to lose something, less likely for me to forget something because I've created the space to allow myself to be organized. Another great thing, and this is a really beautiful thing which I really did underestimate and didn't realize until probably more recently, but Millism gives me back time. I could very easily be running around like a headless chicken, but when I prioritize Millism back into my daily life, I actually am more organized so I have more time. I'm not racing, running late, chasing my tail. I can actually effortlessly, with ease, move from one thing to the next. I have a moment to be way more present with my children, to allow the space for my children to have a meltdown and allow that, that space for them to have a meltdown where I support them. I'm not having to say, come on, we're running late, we're rushing. And for me, that is something incredibly important, having that time, having that space Having that awareness that comes from time and space to be able to read my children, understand what they want and to connect with them properly. These are the things that make me serious about Millism and know that it is a non-negotiable in my life. And it allows me to open up and welcome even more of Millism in my life so I can see where else this may take me. Now there are times in my life where I discover new passions and I might buy certain things or there are certain tools that I need in my work. That doesn't mean I've given up on Millism, far from it. It just means that I've allowed myself to have safe boundaries with Millism. I don't rush in and buy everything suddenly. I have safe boundaries that allow me to be accountable, but also to be mindful in how I'm choosing to spend my money. Because again, coming back to knowing my why, knowing that I want efficiency, I want a sense of tranquility in my life. I want time and I want to be present. Those things that I do choose to incorporate in my life by using my money, my hard earned money, must match that Millism system, which is my ultimate why. So thank you everyone for listening to this. I really hope that hearing this idea, hearing this concept and hearing this, I guess, essential step in your journey into a minimalistic life will allow you to understand more and potentially go deeper with your journey into this incredible incredible lifestyle movement that has personally changed my life forever and I am eternally grateful. All right, everyone, thank you so much for listening and let me know your thoughts. Let me know what you want to share and let me know if you have any questions about minimalism so I can make them perhaps in another video such as minimalism and money. Let me know what you think. Ciao for now.